Okay, so to get my SQL or a database, basically, to get a database, all you need to do is go to your cPanel and then scroll down to something that looks like, well, there it is, my SQL databases. Um, we can either click on either one of these, but we're going to go ahead and click on the database wizard because this should give us an option to create a database. So we're going to create a new database. Um, this is my uh, username on this account. It's kind of weird, but whatever. And my new database, I'm going to call it demo1. And then we're going to give it a new user. And just to be simple, I'm going to name the user the same thing. And then give it a password. Um, we'll give the password of Google. Google. It's a very weak password. Also, um, or we can generate a password. Let's go ahead and generate a password. So it's going to give me this. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to use it. Cancel. So we're going to paste that in here. Now that's very strong. So create the user. And we're going to give the user all privileges on this account. So now we have a user of demo1 and we have a database of demo1. So I'm going to go to my notepad and I'm going to write all this down. So my database host, ooh, ooh, host is more than likely it's localhost. Uh, my database name is Z X P P E Z Z N underscore demo one. My database username Z X P P E Z Z N demo one. And my database password is that string of text. All right. So that's how we get our my my SQL database. The next thing we're gonna do. Um, we're going to go to wordpress.org, wordpress.org, and we are going to download the latest version of WordPress. Go ahead and click on download. You have to go to the side of their page and click on it again. They claim that it is a five minute installation, and all we'll need is the database information that we just grabbed. So that's downloading, it's checking it, make sure there's nothing malicious in the file. There we go, it's done. So go ahead and open your folder and drag it to your folder. It's a compressed file, so we're gonna have to unzip it. Um, I use 7-zip, but you can use whatever unzipping software you have. Go ahead and unzip it to this folder. Okay, so there's our WordPress files. Next, we're gonna open up our FTP program. I use FileZilla. And we're gonna log into our server. And we're gonna go to our public HTML. This is where all the files that are seen by the people who visit our website. So we're gonna go there. And I'm gonna create a new folder or new directory and I'm going to call it demo1. I'm going to open it. I'm going to go back to my folder where WordPress was. I'm just going to copy all of this. Or I can drag it. Yeah, I want to drag it back over to the FileZilla window and drop it in there. And it's going to upload all the files pretty quickly, I might add. Okay, here we are, almost done. There, now all of our files from WordPress are on our website. So I'm gonna go to my 
browser and I'm going to go to our website server367.com and our directory which is demo1 click enter and it says there's no configuration file panic we're gonna click on this create a configuration file link and it's gonna ask for the database name username password and host and table prefix go ahead and let's go our database name so we're gonna open up our notepad this is all the information that we gathered earlier so our database name is this long character I'm just gonna copy it so I know that I have it correct our username which was the same exact thing paste that our password I'm gonna copy that too paste it local host for our database host um, sometimes like GoDaddy I know there's an example of this where they have different um, database hosts they don't use local hosts so you'll need to figure that out with the each host um, table prefix some people like putting random characters here it's optional but you can leave it the same and click on submit yay it accepted all of our information which means it's in contact with the database we can go ahead and run the install on this page we can give our site a name I'm gonna name it demo1 we can choose change the admin username or we can keep it the same uh, choose our password I'm just gonna use the same one and our email address my email address that do we want to allow search engines to index the site normally you would keep that checked but since this is just a demo I am going to uncheck it and I'm gonna install WordPress congratulations success WordPress has been installed we can go ahead and log in and there we go we have WordPress installed and it took about five minutes.